from meteorologist Kelly Moody. All is calm looking out on our I-10 westbound cam this evening, but I expect things to be a little bit different around this time tomorrow. In fact, I expect it to be an awfully gusty sight for some of you, especially if you're headed toward the San Gorgonio Pass, where we do expect to see potentially wind gusts up to 55 miles per hour, which is why, of course, the National Weather Service has issued a wind advisory ahead of this event. It starts tomorrow at 10 a.m. and lasts until midnight. Now, during this time, like I mentioned, those peak wind gusts of 55 miles per hour, those will be reserved for our most wind prone spots and even that might be a little bit high for what I expect that we'll be seeing. Most of our wind speeds throughout the day likely ranging between 15 to 25 miles per hour, but then ramping up a bit more as we get toward those later evening hours. These are going to be westerly winds, so bringing in a little bit of cooler air for us. Let's go ahead and track them out for you hour by hour. I'll give you that nice full view there by tomorrow morning. You can see those winds strengthening just a bit, but still pretty light for most valley cities. It doesn't really start to get a bit stronger closing in around I 10 until we make it toward the early evening hours and then we continue to see that strengthening happening right around 10 o'clock tomorrow night. So thankfully most of this strong wind will be saving itself for when you're likely going to bed and then starting to get ready for things heading into your Monday. Speaking of Monday, I do want to point this out. While winds will be lighter, I can already see a light offshore flow starting to develop. While I don't expect this to be impacting everyone, mostly just cities like Desert Hot Springs, the Santa Ana wind event is an indicator to us of a ridge of high pressure starting to move in. Now, why is that important? Because it means warmer temperatures too. So while it will be a little breezy for some as we head into the start of the work week, warmer temperatures are on the way. Now with this onshore flow, we are going to see those stronger gusts see winds through the San Gorgonio Pass, but also some scattered showers off to the west. Nothing I expect to be impacting us, but it could mean just a little bit more snow for our area mountains as we look toward our Sunday afternoon. Again, I don't expect it to be impacting us at all. Temperature wise tonight will fall from the mid 50s down to the lower end of the 50s, warming right back up to the mid 60s by tomorrow mid morning, eventually making up into the lower end of the 70s might feel a little bit cooler than that as we make it into the afternoon hours. Following that, we'll see temperatures warming all the way to the mid 70s as we head into the afternoon hours of your Wednesday. A lot to look forward to there with temperatures in the 40s and 50s that we'll be seeing for our overnight lows. And that's your first alert comfort air seven day forecast.